Think you know what lurks in the depths of the ocean? While nearly 95% of our oceans haven't been explored yet, it's not hard to let your imagination run wild. But thanks to brave explorers, deep-sea cameras, and awesome archaeologists, we do know about some pretty incredible sea creatures living in our waters today and millions of years ago. From the 9-foot spider crab to the 60-foot prehistoric megalodon, these sea dwellers come in all shapes and sizes. Sharks Thanks to horror flicks like The Meg and the timeless classic Jaws, it's no secret that sharks are super big and scary. But did you know there are sharks that could fit right inside the palm of your hand? According to National Geographic, one of the smallest sharks scientists know about is called the dwarf lantern shark, and they're an adorable, adorable? 7 to 8 inches long. At this size, it's no surprise that these little guys are rarely seen, which is why scientists don't know too much about them. They've been observed a handful of times off the northern tip of South America, and have organs called photospores that literally light up. These help them blend in with the sunlight hitting the water when they come to the surface looking for prey. While the ocean is home to a shark as tiny as the dwarf lantern shark, it's also home to the biggest shark of modern times, the whale shark. This creature is not only a massive shark, but is the largest known fish species alive, according to National Geographic. Like many whales, this massive shark is a filter feeder and moves slowly in the water. An average adult whale shark can grow as long as a school bus. Typically, they can grow anywhere from 33 feet to 40 feet. And sometimes, they can reach a whopping 60 feet in length. While these sharks have somewhat smaller teeth than many other sharks living in the ocean, they can have a mouthful around 3,000 teeth as an adult. I wonder what kind of toothbrush they have to use. Do they floss? But even the whale shark isn't the biggest shark known to humans. If the entire shark species were a kingdom, the prehistoric megalodon would be the ruler of the sea. Megalodon roamed the ocean a long time ago, oh about 15.9 to 2.6 million years back between the early Miocene and late Pliocene eras. While they've long been extinct, people are still amazed to learn about these gigantic sea beasts. Megalodon could reach anywhere between 45 to 60 feet in length, with jaws more than 6 feet wide. A fossil of a tooth that once belonged to a megalodon measured in at 7 inches. Needless to say, I'm pretty stoked that these guys have long been extinct. Whew. Marine reptiles Many of the ocean's reptiles existed long before humans roamed the Earth. A number of these now extinct marine reptiles resembled dinosaurs with scaly skin and tails. They didn't have gills like fish did and couldn't breathe underwater. There were five main groups of reptiles that roamed the sea in the past. Nothosaurus, Pleliosaurus, Pliosaurs, Ithiosaurs, and Mosasaurs. <laughs> Try saying all those ten times fast. While I don't have enough time to describe all these prehistoric marine reptiles, there are a few worth comparing so you can understand their vast diversity when it came to size. Shaunosaurus lived on Earth during the late Triassic period, about 215 million years ago. Shucks, just missed it. Archaeologists named them Shonosaurus thanks to the fossils they found near the Shoshone Mountains in Nevada. After studying their fossils, archaeologists believe these prehistoric reptiles grew to be about 50 feet long and weighed about 60,000 pounds. A T-Rex supposedly weighed around 18,000 pounds to give you a little perspective. Woo! But not all marine reptiles were massive like the Shonosaurus. Meet Ophthalmosaurus. This prehistoric reptile thrived during the late Jurassic period and lived in oceans all over the world. Ophthalmosaurus weighed somewhere around 6,000 pounds and grew to approximately 16 feet long according to NewDinosaurs.com. That's about the same length as the beluga whale that exists today. It's too bad these guys went extinct before we had a chance to see them ourselves as their cartoonish wide eyes and dolphin-like features are pretty darn cute. Of course, the ophthalmosaurus evolved over time to become ophthalmologists or eye doctors that we know today. No, that's a lie. Just testing you. 
Another marine reptile that lived during the Jurassic period was known as Leopleurodon. They are believed to have been very fast-moving, similar to a great white shark. A more aggressive marine reptile, these carnivorous sea beasts weighed about 5,000 pounds and grew to around 30 feet long. With a 5-foot-long skull packed with razor-sharp teeth, these guys meant business. They also had flippers that enabled them to move incredibly swiftly through the water, maybe even swimming as fast as a shark at around 25 miles per hour. Wow, glad I don't have to worry about these things on my next summer vacation at the beach. One of the smaller prehistoric marine reptiles also lived during the Jurassic period around 200 to 190 million years ago, Ichthyosaurus. These guys only grew to about 6 feet, which would have put them at the same height as a guy who was slightly taller than average today. Fun fact about these guys? Similar to humans, they gave birth to their young live and not in the form of eggs. And since they couldn't breathe underwater like other reptiles, their babies came out tail first so they wouldn't drown. How thoughtful. Whales. Can you guess which living species of whale is the largest? Well, it's not the orca, but that's a good guess. The orca, also known as the killer whale, is a tooth whale and can grow to anywhere from 23 to 32 feet, which is slightly smaller than a school bus. How about the narwhal? No, they're not the biggest either. These unicorns of the sea live mainly in Arctic waters and only grow 13 to 20 feet in length, and that's including their 9-inch tusk. That puts them at a slightly longer length than the aforementioned Leopleurodon. Tired of guessing? Okay, I give in. The largest whale that still exists today is the blue whale. Ah, you knew that. At a jaw-dropping 82 to 105 feet, the blue whale is not only the biggest whale we know of, but is currently the largest animal to have ever lived on Earth. Seriously. These animals are bigger than a T-Rex and even the prehistoric Megalodon. If you were to put a blue whale next to a school bus, it would look like it could swallow it. Think about that. According to the National Geographic, a blue whale's tongue can weigh the same as an elephant, and their hearts can weigh as much as a car. That doesn't even sound possible. It's no wonder these giants need to eat about 4 tons of krill every day. While there aren't too many animals living today that can compete with the blue whale's epic proportions, there is an entirely different species that is a good contender. And it's not quite what you would expect. It's a jellyfish. Now, I'm not talking about the little jellyfish that wash up on the shore and ruin a perfectly good day at the beach. I'm referring to the lion's mane jellyfish, the biggest jellyfish around. This invertebrate can grow up to 120 feet long. They also come in different gorgeous colors like red, purple, or even shades of orange. And as if their length wasn't impressive, the lion's mane jellyfish boast a whopping 8 sets of 70 to 150 tentacles. That means they can have up to 1,200 in total. Holy cow! I mean, holy jellyfish! And while the lion's mane jellyfish and the blue whale are yet to be beaten for the longest sea creature, there is one marine creature that can grow even larger in length. The Portuguese man-o-war, tentacles and all, can reach a length of 165 feet long. And that's according to mentalfloss.com. While this thing may look a lot like a jellyfish, it's actually known as a siphonophore. And there are hundreds and sometimes thousands of them that are genetically identical. Their long tentacles help the organism catch prey, and its sting is fatal to most animals, even humans in some cases. What's even creepier is that if one of the tentacles comes off the organism for whatever reason, it can float around the water for days before decomposing. Even if it's detached, this tentacle can still sting you. But don't go running out of the ocean just yet. Your chances of being killed by a Portuguese man-o-war sting are pretty slim. However, if you do get stung, the side effects aren't pretty, with welts, stomach cramps, an elevated heart rate, and an upset stomach. While you don't want to go anywhere near these long creatures, they sure are pretty to look at. Check out all those colors! So, which of these sea creatures surprised you the most? Give us your thoughts in the comment section. Don't forget to give this video a like, share it with your friends, and click subscribe. Stay on the Bright Side!